Okay, so every third Saturday in November, it's a cold day and two titans of college football meet every year to play out a game that is well in tradition and well in just good sport. Uh, the two teams are the maize and blue of Michigan and the scarlet and gray of Ohio State. Uh, this, one, this rivalry is one of uh, great tradition and it's not just played for a trophy but just bragging rights overall. And today I'd basically like to highlight the college football rivalry that is Ohio State and Michigan. And I would like to just go from basically the beginning all the way to the present now. Now some short background of each team. Uh, this is Michigan Stadium, and uh, this would be the, I guess, the student section right here. It holds about, according to Michigan's website, it holds about 107,501 people. Uh, they, With this current season, this is the 133rd season, uh, they've gone through 18 coaches in that time, and their current win percentage is 736 compared to 1,000 being perfect. This is a uh, Buckeye Stadium, and the student section is right about here. Uh, according to their website, it holds about 102,329 people. With this current season, they are in season 121. They've had 24 coaches in that time, and their current win percentage is 715. Now with this short little background, i uh, come across a, a little bit of just a few notable players from each team. Um, starting from left, or from left to right, uh, we have Desmond Howard. Uh, he's noted for uh, his Heisman Trophy win and the main, the, the Heisman pose in the end zone uh, against Ohio State, where the, where the announcer of the game, right when he got in the end zone, said hello Heisman, and he ended up doing the pose like that. Uh, in the middle, we have Tom Brady, current Patriots quarterback, and arguably one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now. And on the far left, not many people know this, but President Gerald Ford, uh, the 38th President of the United States, actually played for Michigan. He played a uh, lineman and helped them actually win the national championship. Now for Ohio State, going again left to right, we have Eddie George, uh, former Tennessee Titan and uh, Cowboys running back. In the middle, we have Archie Griffin, the only two-time Heisman Trophy winner for the Ohio State Buckeyes. And on the far left, or on the far right, we have a uh, Kirk Herbstreit, current ESPN analyst uh, and uh, former quarterback of the Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, in the early years of the of the rivalry, it wasn't there wasn't very much uh, competition for a few years. Uh, Michigan pretty much just blew them out almost every game. Especially in the first game in 1897, when uh, Michigan won 34 to nothing against Ohio State, the rivalry didn't really start until 1919, when Ohio State won its first game, and that gave, they won 13 to three. Uh, but in 1950 was the most notable game in the early years. Uh, the night before the game, there was a giant blizzard, and it covered the field in snow. And it was a very low scoring game and very entertaining because most, there was uh, 45 punts in the game and most of them were on first down. Uh, <laughs> there was only, there was only uh, three scores in the game, two by blocked punts and one by a, a field goal. The field goal vote was by Ohio State and that put them up three. And then one blocked punt was in the end zone and it went out of the back for a, a safety to get Michigan two points, and then another one was recovered in the end zone for a touchdown. So they ended up winning nine to two, or nine to three. Now, I'm going to the, there's a time period uh, called the 10 year war where two coaches, Woody Hayes on the left and Bo Schembechler on the right, were both coaches for Ohio State and Michigan respectively. And, uh, Woody Hayes' record for Ohio State, oh, it's kind of hidden, but it's uh, 238 wins, 72 losses, and 10 ties, while Bo, Sh 
Sean Blackler had 234 wins, 65 losses, and 8 ties. Uh, the 10-year war was back and forth. There was no clear uh, upbringing or, down, or a team that was just going to lose for sure. It was always back and forth, and the 10-year war was ended up being won overall by uh, Michigan with five wins, four losses, and one tie. And after that 10-year period, uh, Woody Hayes ended up being fired because he ended up punching uh, the, the opposing team's player um, <laughs> during the whole game. A very, the only way to keep you all out, that's what people would say. Now this would bring in a, a new era called the John Cooper era for Ohio State. Uh, unfortunately for Ohio State fans, he did not emphasize very much on the rivalry. He just said it was another game. So for them, many of them didn't like him. Uh, so during this period, Michigan ended up winning a lot of the games. They won 10 games, only lost two, and then tied one. Uh, now during this time, which was 1988 to 2000, uh, Michigan went through three coaches. Bo Schembechler uh, coached a little bit of that season. Gary Moeller went five seasons. And then uh, Lloyd Carr came in in 1995. Now after, after 2000, they brought in a new coach, Jim Tressel, and he had an emphasis on the rivalry when he was announced as head coach at the Ohio State-Michigan basketball game. He said that in, he counted off the amount of days that it was until the football game, and he said that you're, uh, these young men will be winners in, in this rivalry. And so he just had a really big emphasis on the rivalry. In 2006, it was the first time that both teams were number one and number two. Uh, Ohio State was number one, Michigan was number two. And Ohio State would end up winning this game 42 to 39, so it was very close, it was very back and forth during the entire game. Unfortunately for Ohio State, in 2011 they went under investigation because of, uh, because their players were selling memorabilia for money and tattoos. So their, their head coach was fired and that whole 2010 season was vacated, so they didn't win any games, or they didn't Basically, they didn't even play that season. So the 2010 game for Michigan Ohio State would, would basically was never played. It didn't count. It doesn't count for either team in win, wins or losses, and it just wasn't there. Uh, up until last year, 2011, Michigan had not beaten the Buckeyes since 2003, and this year looks like it's going to be another. It could go either way with uh, uh, with their new coach and. Uh, and the coach of uh, Michigan. So today I have uh, basically brought you from the beginning of the, the rivalry, some background of the teams, and brought you all the way to this year. Thank you. Right, Aida, what did you think? Uh, I really liked his introduction. I knew what um, he was going to talk about. Um, I like that he went over like the Michigan and Ohio like players, and I thought that was interesting. Um, I really liked like everything he like went over. Like I knew what he was talking about, even though I don't know anything about the sport. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I liked his, his conclusion. It was good. Like it was generic, but it was good. So yeah, that's it. 
Okay. Uh